A popular piece of functionality of the Microsoft Dynamics 365 portals is the knowledge base. So the ability to write up articles, things that might answer frequently asked questions or just give someone a little bit more information to where they can go to your website search using keywords and find information. So I'm looking at a portal here, we can see we've got access to, um, these are some of the most popular articles that have been published. So if I go to one of the knowledge base articles, I can see the information, um, read through it, no problem. Now this is a user that's not even logged in at this point. So one of the um, site settings for your portal, if we go into um, the app here for portals, we can see we've got a knowledge management content access level enabled. Now, content access level allows us to set whether a piece of content is available for somebody to actually access and, and see that it exists within your portal. So by default, it will be set to false. So what that means is all of your content, um, basically those knowledge articles that you've published, everyone can see them no matter what, no matter whether they're logged in or not. So if I just go ahead and change this from false to true, and we'll go ahead and save that. And if I go back to the portal and just go ahead and refresh, you'll see that those articles have now disappeared. OK, so if you don't want your articles available to people that are not logged in, that will be the first thing that you want to do. Now, I'm going to go ahead and sign in as a user. So that we can just get logged in. Now, if I go back to the home page, we'll see that they're still not available. So we need to do a couple of things. Now, first of all, if I go into um, the portal again, and we've got an option called content access levels. So we're going to go there. Now, we'll see that there are three that are set up by default. We have a default, a premium users, and a registered users. Now, whenever a knowledge article is created, they will automatically get that default. OK, um, we can see there that that says yes for the default access level. Then what you can do is set content or change the, the content access level on a knowledge base article to say, well, actually, this is for premium users. This is um, something that's only available if somebody's maybe paid for a subscription or something like that or is paying more for support. So if you wanted to, you could add in additional content access levels. Now, if I go to my app where I've got my knowledge articles and there's that how to support computers accessories. If I go into that and then look at the summary in the related information, you'll see that there's a padlock. So if I click on the padlock, this is the content access levels section. We've got an ellipsis over here for more commands. If I click on that, I can do add existing content access level. Now, if I just hit enter, I'll see here are all of the content access levels that we just looked at. So I can say, well, this is only available for premium users or um, default or registered users and so on. So I'm going to click on that, select it, and there we've got premium users. So we'll go ahead and add that. So you could add as many as you wanted to. So we've added that. However, the user is still not going to be able to see it yet because I haven't actually defined what level of access that person has. So there's a couple of ways that we can do that. So first of all, if I actually go to that user and we'll search for Mike Jones, there he is. And I go to the related area and scroll down. I've got content access levels added here as an option in the navigation. So from here, I can add an existing content access level. So again, I can search and I can say, right, well, he's a premium user. I can go ahead and add that. OK, so now if I come in and refresh with Mike being logged in, there's that article immediately available to him. So he knows that it exists, but other users that maybe have the default level, they're never going to be able to see that. OK, so I can drill in and I can get that information. 
Now, that's going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it, to go through and do that for every single contact? Yes, you could certainly set up a business rule, uh, sorry, a, a workflow. So if you um, assign somebody access to a portal, you give them a username or someone registers and they belong to a specific account that has a specific level of support, you could do that. The other thing that you can do is if we come back into the portal app and we look for our web roles area, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so we go to web roles and if I look at, uh, let's see, or registered, sorry, authenticated users for the customer self-service portal. And if I look through into the administration area, we can see that automatically those web roles are going to have that content access level of default set up. However, what I could do is either on this web role or creating a new web role, I can set and say, well, actually, whenever somebody's given this web role, that web role is going to have the premium users content access level. So automatically, because they've got that web role, they will be able to get access to all of those knowledge base articles. So those are some different ways that you can um, sort of separate out your content to make sure that the right content is getting to the right people. And it might not even be about someone having some sort of paid subscription or um, having a, a higher level of support. It could be that maybe you've got knowledge base articles based on different products that you sell or different services that you offer. So you want to make sure that the content that is provided on the portal makes sense and someone's not seeing, um, uh, they're not seeing documentation about a product that they don't actually have or a service that they haven't actually subscribed to. So hopefully that's useful, a way to see how you can set out um, different levels of access to the content that you're pushing out with regards to the knowledge base articles.